Hey everyone, this is DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to swap out your hard drive on your PS4. Let's get started. So to ensure that this process runs smoothly, I'm going to go through everything you're going to need. I'll also link you to everything in the description down below. So first off, you'll need a hard drive, obviously, and you can choose between an SSD or an HDD. It's totally up to you and what you're planning to do with the PS4. Now, any 2.5 inch laptop hard drive should work as long as it's no thicker than 9.5 millimeters and is no smaller than 160 gigabytes. Now, alongside the hard drive, you'll need a Phillips screwdriver, a USB with at least one gigabyte or more. You'll need the PlayStation DualShock 4 controller with the charging cable, and then obviously you'll need the PS4. All right, so to get things started, we're gonna go ahead and plug in the USB drive to your computer, and we're gonna need to download the PS4 software. Now I'll link you in the description to this website here, and you can go ahead and click this download now button. And while it's downloading, we'll go ahead and format our USB drive. It's always a good practice when we're doing things like this to format it. So just basically erasing everything on the USB to make sure that we don't have any files left over. Once your USB drive has formatted, you want to go ahead and open it up and we're going to create a new folder. We're going to name it PS4 in all capitals. And then from here, we're going to open that folder and create another folder and we're going to call it update once again in all capitals. From here, what we want to do is add the PS4 update file to our update folder that we created. So just go ahead and drag it in that folder. And when it's completed, we'll go ahead and move forward with the actual hardware install. So now that you've set up your USB with the PS4 update, we can go ahead and open up the PS4. So what we're going to do here is actually pull these two pieces apart. And I found it a little bit hard to do this. So the best way is sort of take your thumbs like this and kind of pull and lift with your fingers on the back here. And we're going to kind of pull and it should just snap off and it'll come apart like this. You will need to give it a little bit of force. Uh, just make sure you don't break the clips. Once you've opened the enclosure, you want to locate and remove this screw right here. And something that I found pretty interesting was that it has the triangle, square, circle, and X imprints on the screw itself. Once you've removed the screw, you can go ahead and pull out the hard drive. It should come out really easily. Then you're going to need to remove the four screws located on the outer edges of the casing. Once all the screws are removed, you can then pull out the hard drive from the encasing. And then make sure you just put this down on something that doesn't have a lot of static. So don't put it down on the carpet, put it on a hard surface. And now we're just basically going to go backwards and we're going to put our new hard drive inside the enclosure. Now this one right here is actually from my Apple laptop. It's my old uh, hard drive. I'm not actually going to use this for anything. I just wanted to show you guys how to do this for yourself. Once you've got the hard drive in, you want to go back and screw in the four screws. And once you've got all the screws in, you want to go ahead and just slide the hard drive back in, making sure it's in completely. And then finally, putting in the large screw, once again, right here, ensuring that it's in tightly. And then we want to go ahead and put the enclosure back on. And now you'll notice that on this end, it's kind of like down. So you want to go and put that end in first, make sure it's in, and then just give it a push and it should just click right in. Now we need to get our controller ready here and we're going to go ahead and plug in the USB cable to the PlayStation itself and then the other end obviously to the controller. So for this next step, we're going to actually be installing the software we downloaded on our USB to the hard drive we just installed on our PS4. So if you've done everything correctly, go ahead and connect your PlayStation to the TV via the HDMI cable and make sure the power is plugged in and obviously make sure you're on the right input. Once you've done all that, you want to go ahead and hold the PlayStation button on the control until you hear a beep and until it goes into safe mode. All right, so when the PlayStation does start up, you may notice it turns on and off twice. You're gonna get an error message like this. What you wanna do is press the PS button in the middle of your controller. And then you'll see it says, connect the USB or storage device that contains an update file or installers. So what we're gonna do is take our USB and plug it into the PlayStation. And then we're gonna go ahead and select OK. After a while, this message will appear. The PS4 will be initialized. All users and data will be deleted. Are you sure you want to continue? And we're going to go ahead and select yes. Now, if at any point you're prompted with some options, you want to select the one that says initialize PS4, reinstall system software. Now, during this whole process, just give it its time to install and initialize. 
So there you have it. We are pretty much installed. We've got our new hard drive set up here. So just go ahead and turn on your controller again and go through all the settings here. So there you have it. You've now installed your new hard drive on your PS4. Now, if you want to check up on it, you just go into the settings right here. Go to where it says system storage management, and then you'll see the applications and everything. And you can see your free space. And depending on what kind of hard drive you put in, you'll see a difference there. But you've pretty much installed it, and now you can use it as you would a normal hard drive with the PS4. Anyway, guys, remember if you found this helpful to hit that like button and leave a comment down below to let me know. Also, subscribe. I've got a lot more videos on the PS4 coming up in the very near future. I'll be doing some gameplays on my other channel. So definitely leave your comments down below what you want to see coming up or if you want anything to be posted on the PlayStation 4 and I'll definitely look into it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. I will see you in the next one.